this is the culmination of all of the work that we've done over the last year. So obviously very excited to see it come to fruition in Mexico. So what we have done over the last year is we have added more elements of the competition and activities to the local programs. And then we're also doing the same thing on a global scale. So what we see next week will be the first of its kind on Patron and definitely one of the first of its kind in the industry, the way we're running this. So very, very excited. We have made a very dramatic change in what the program was previously before I had come into Patron. It was a singular cocktail contest uh, that amplified one serve throughout the year in different ways. Uh, but the transition into a bartending program, which brought in the addition of the brand new educational suite, uh, on trade experiences, bartender experiences, and then also uh, quite a broad uh, series of activities and challenges that created a, a bigger competition element rather than that singular cocktail serve. Yes, so the program will run from March 24th until the 30th, and I cannot believe, even as we're talking about it, that it's already here. So the bartenders and their brand ambassadors will, will arrive from 16 different countries on the 24th to Guadalajara in Mexico, which is the home of uh, where tequila starts its journey in the state of Jalisco. And about two hours away from Guadalajara is the Hacienda del Patron, which is our brand home, uh, close to the town of Atotonilco in the Tequila Highlands. So it's very, very exciting to bring uh, all of these brand ambassadors and bartenders into uh, that world, and some of them for the very first time, and certainly for the competitors, it will be the first time that they're coming to see our brand home. And the series of challenges uh, will start on the second day that they arrive, uh, including field to flavor, which is a, a little bit of a, a, it's not a black box situation, but it is a surprise challenge. They understand some of the mechanics of what's going to happen, but they don't know the full flavor of what they're in for. So they will arrive on site in the agave fields that uh, with one of the partners that we work with um, that uh, that grows and harvests the agave for uh, tequila patron and they will be given the task in the moment so very very exciting the second challenge uh, that they'll be going through is called the stories we share which gives them the opportunity to be inspired by uh, a story or an element of Mexico uh, and culture that really became a thought-provoking idea they wanted to share blended with their own creativity from where they come from. And then the third challenge is called Mi Mesa Es Tu Mesa, which is my table is your table, which will be more of a presentation for a group in which they have carte blanche. They can do anything they want with Tequila Patron to bring this sort of group ritual to life. Uh, so those are just the challenges, but the rest of the itinerary is filled with uh, incredible activities to get to know Guadalajara, get to know Mexico, Tlaquepaque, which is one of the historic towns inside uh, of Guadalajara, to understand the process of how we make and create Tequila Patron and bring it to the world, our 100% uh, natural process with only water, agave, and yeast. They get to see the process of everything. And from there, they'll get multiple tastings. We're doing a chili masterclass with a chiliero, which is the, the chili sommelier. We have a huge team of, of folks uh, that are coming down, including our esteemed panel of judges. We're even sliding in a secret speed rack competition round for all the competitors. You heard it here, but don't tell anyone because Ivy Mix is one of our judges, who's the co-founder of Speed Rack. So we've got lots of uh, exciting things. I almost feel like I can't say anything more because then it ruins the surprise of everything. So I've given you exactly what the bartenders know is happening. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's a great mix. Uh, we have uh, a couple of uh, really outstanding media partners this year working with us on Patron Perfectionist globally. And then some are, are uh, in addition to being global partners, they have some elements of strength in, in certain markets that we work in, like the US and the UK. And so it was really important to us that we gave uh, our media personalities who are very well known in the drinks industry an opportunity to share their thoughts and opinions and be part of that panel. So we have uh, Tara Fogner, who is the, the founder and CEO of Thirsty Media in the US. 
And we also have Sandra Lawrence, who's the owner and one of the founders of the Cocktail Lovers in the UK. And the two of them together are going to represent some very interesting and different opinions, which I think is quite important. From the rest of the judging panel, of course, we have uh, Harrison Kenny, who was our global winner from last year on Perfectionist, and as well, uh, Julia Cuparulo, who is the global winner from 2020. Both come from very esteemed bars, uh, great countries with very different and interesting drinking cultures, Harrison being from Sydney as part of Bar Planet, and then also Julia uh, being in uh, London as uh, the head bartender at the Artesian in, uh, at the Langham Hotel. In addition, we've got Ivy Mix, who I mentioned, who uh, is the co-founder of Speed Rack and owns a really great bar in Brooklyn called Leanda with uh, Julie Reiner. But we are also global sponsors for uh, tequila on Speed Rack as Patron. And so we're really excited to be able to invite Ivy down to be part of our world on, on Patron. And then our last few judges are very exciting. So we have uh, Chef Anna Matarell who is uh, an amazing and very, very well-known, very gifted chef. She wrote an entire book just on mole. It's like 400 pages on the most beautiful styles of mole and how you can bring them to life in different dishes. Incredibly authentic, beautiful Mexican cuisine. She owns a couple of restaurants in Mexico City, and uh, we are really excited to welcome her as, uh, as part of our world. We have a surprise judge, which I can't mention yet, but at the end of uh, next week, there will be another figure in the, the Mexican bartending industry that will be joining us. So I'm very excited to let you know who that is uh, down the road. And lastly, we have uh, the winner from uh, Netflix's Drink Masters season one, LP O'Brien. Uh, so Lauren Paler O'Brien joining us, and she's starting with us for, uh, for the next year, helping us on a few things on Patron. And uh, we're very excited to welcome her to La Hacienda for the first time. And then the mix of the judges together being that they're, they come from uh, very diverse backgrounds, uh, really different styles of places in the industry. Uh, they're looking for very different things, but they all have one thing in common. They cherish authenticity, uh, you know, people, flavors, emotion, really at the heart of everything that they do in the industry in whatever form it takes. And so welcoming them to be part of this incredible judging panel. We're not even supposed to be calling it a judging panel, really. They are judging, but they are mentors, they're contributors, they're friends, um, and they are going to help guide our bartenders along on this incredible once-in-a-lifetime journey. Yes, <laughs> uh, mentorship is very important. Um, I, I, I will sound like a broken record, I think, to some people listening in, but mentorship is everything and not just mentorship, but peer to peer mentorship, removing the hierarchy of uh, top down mentorship um, from just an elder to somebody who is might be a little bit novice. That's one thing. It feels a bit generational and outdated. It's not that that disappears completely. It's still necessary from a respect point of view. But I think the way that bartenders and folks in the industry just generally become better uh, at what they're doing, the best versions of themselves, their own unique perception on what perfection means to them as well, even just being linked to Patron perfectionists. It's all in the eye of the beholder. And the way that we look at mentorship is from peer to peer. So why not create this accessibility from Ivy to LP to Anna to Sandra to Tara to Harrison to Julia and our surprise judge to each of those bartenders and the brand ambassadors as one just really beautiful circular uh, moment of sharing and educating each other, sharing stories, lived experiences, you know, asking the right questions, delivering great answers. I think being accessible is, is quite important and that gives more of the feel of life changing experience in Mexico with Patron rather than I'm going to compete in a competition and I hope I win because it's the only thing. So mentorship is, is really the thing that will drive us year after year to greatness. I think uh, for bartenders, and I've always felt this way, uh, having been in drinks for 23 years, and uh, I would say 15 of those years was spent standing behind a bar making drinks, managing venues and, and teams and people, is that bartenders are just like, like anybody else that is, is really emotionally connected to the work that they do. There has to be an evolution on how bartenders experience brands and also how they experience 
different parts of the world where some of the ingredients that we sometimes take for granted are made. And so I think while having a contest is it's interesting and drives recruitment in a different way. It, it works with venues. It works with menus. It works with the creation of unique flavor combinations that the bartenders can try their hands at. The element of bringing these additional activities, giving them this hands-on experience being in Mexico, giving them lots of different challenge rounds that they can explore a bit more about themselves, pushing themselves and their capability. I think when we rope too much into one challenge or one task, then it gets a bit muddy. So this way, with the three challenges that they'll be uh, undertaking, they'll have the ability to show a different side of themselves and their expertise and how it links into their, I guess, uh, their emotional connection to the industry and with people. And that is really, really exciting. But again, we, uh, we won't know anything until the end of the week when we certainly we crown our new global winner. But of course, uh, we will have, uh, you know, 16 global finalists that we're investing in around the world so that they can help uh, make their local bartending communities a, a wonderful place to be. And Patron is really happy to be part of that. It's, it's an interesting question because I don't think that there's a one-size-fits-all set of, uh, you know, pieces of advice that you can give that everyone will say, oh, yeah, that works for me. I think as uh, for me, as someone that has been a competitive bartender who has competed on a global level, who didn't win on a global level, and then went to building competitions and advocacy programs to now running and leading them, I can say that every single type of personality, every single type of bartender with a wide range of experience levels there is no set parameter on who's going to win or who's going to do exceptionally well. There is a formula to being your best and being prepared and enjoying and living in the moment. Nerves are part of it. Nerves are fine. It means that you care. And I think that each bartender listening to this and even just anyone generally just listening to how can I be the best at what I'm doing, it's important to be prepared, read the brief, practice makes perfect, and make sure that you're living in the moment. You pull in these little bits of unique uh, moments or conversations or things that you taste and touch and see. You can pivot. You can adjust things in the moment to make it feel more you. And I think being yourself is the most important thing and uh, being quite happy with what you deliver. And using always these, these moments of global recognition and also, you know, uh, all eyes are on me can provide nerves and can provide nervousness. But I think look at it as an audition of what's coming next. You may not know what that is, but you don't have to win in order to be in the room to audition for what's next. Let's cast the net wide and make sure that we are touching and speaking to every bartender on this planet. We want to make sure that bartenders have the accessibility to education, accessibility to a network of people just like them. And if they feel as though they're not sure where to start, we have a place for those folks as well. So I think wherever possible, we want to connect bartenders to academyofpatron.com and make sure that they are highlighting to us where they are, who they are, what they're interested in, so we can help to customize uh, a, a little bit of their approach to joining this family for the future. The Familia Patron and also the wider Grand Familia on Bacardi, these are really important things that help us to connect with people first before anything else. We happen to make one of the greatest tequilas on the planet, and why not share that? They're going to get to taste, touch, smell, create with some of the greatest liquids that Mexico is producing, and we're excited that we can make a lot of that product accessible into multiple countries around the world. So why not work with bartenders as much as possible to bring them into our world, learn about tequila, and start to unleash their creativity so they can bring to life their perceptions of tequila drinks with their own, I guess, cultural flavor. <laughs>